Hi, this is what you're looking at, and today I have the tabletop tutorial on how to switch out your gas cores and your Thunder grenades. Hope you enjoy the video. You know, for the sake of making videos, I asked S Thunder after making the first or second video, I believe it was after I made the launcher review. I thought it'd be a good idea for them to send me an extra green gas core. As you see here, it is the black model, which means it is, it is the green gas core. I asked him to send me this. That way I could also make a tutorial on how to switch out the cores in these if you ever did get in the situation where you had to replace them. Uh, starting off here, this is the package. Fairly simple, just like the rest of us Thunder packages. When you open it up, it even has the directions on how to do it on the back, but I said for the sake of, you know, further tutorial, I think it would be nice to show you in a video also, just to show you a couple of pointers. Basically, you have your core piece here itself. You got the button that you're supposed to push in that actually activates the grenade. You have the spring on the inside as it is spring operated, and then you have the last piece of the core itself with the mini O-rings on it. The last piece, you know, really simple. There's not too many parts to it, luckily. The last part is the four ball bearings that have to be put in between the silver piece and the core itself. As you can see through it there, there's four spots. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting those ball bearings in there and then replacing the one that we have already in our grenade. Another thing that makes these grenades just so simple, being that it has the cap on top, it's fairly flat on the bottom, so you can lay it upside down. And that's the first step. What we got to do, we have to twist our top off. And as you see, it comes off just like that, fairly easy. Okay, step two is fairly simple. Now you just got to take out the current core that you have in the grenade. That includes the silver piece. And this one just kind of comes right out. As you see, this is the red one, which means it was the more of the CO2 able core. Okay, after this, um, first thing you need to do, pretty standard here. It's a given when it comes to working with gas guns or gas operated airsoft products, you will need to lube this up. I suggest just putting it on both of the o rings if you want to, a little bit on the inside. It really doesn't matter though. As long as you put this, I like to spray a little bit on the o ring and then rub it all around. Make it, you know, nice and even out. That way, you know, it's going to, you know, those o rings are going to be good when they go into the grenade shell itself. Okay, after you loop that up nice and tight, I like to go ahead and put the core back in the grenade itself. As in the next step is, you're going to have to put these ball bearings in. And it's not too tight of a fit, but they do sit in there quite nicely. So it's nice to make sure it's level. That way, these ball bearings do not have a chance to fall out. They don't roll when they fall out, surprisingly. But, you know, you, don't, you just don't want to have a chance of losing one of these. Because finding them might be hard. So after you got all four of those in... As you see, I got all four of my ball bearings in. I just like to take the spring and the reset slash trigger button at the same time. Go ahead and put those in. Push it in all the way. Make sure there's no, nothing blocking it. Make sure none of the ball bearings fell in. Then you just put the top right back on the grenade. Screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight and you're ready to go. One good thing to make sure to do after you do replace that core is just to make sure that you put everything right. Best thing to do to do that, fill her up with gas. I do it for like three, four seconds. You know you're ready to go. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is what you're looking at. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope this out if you've ever had a problem. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial on the S-Thunder Grenade Shells.